Seven dollars, as is as shown. What do we get for seven dollars at Savers? Well, this gem right here. This is a Pentium 4 of great quality. Ooh. Uh, it's got front panel USB. Um, nothing there. And CD drive. Let's take a walk around the side here. We've got a nice big scratch here, here. Some stains and smudges. Look at this. Look at this case. It's buckling in the back. Like, this thing has been thrown. Maybe somebody lost their uh, lost their stuff, so to speak. Um, the modem is... What the hell happened there? This thing is... This thing is rough, man. Oh my god. Why did, why did I buy this? Well, <laughs> why did I buy this? I don't know. For fun. It was either eat at Wendy's or buy this. I think I made the right choice. Let's take the side panel off. Let's take a look inside, shall we? I hear parts falling. That's always a good sign. Um, hmm. Let's see. Ooh, look at this. Uh, it's got drives. It's got drives in it. Sweet. The modem is held in by nothing. Oh, there's the floppy drive cover. We've got some interface cables here. What kind of board is that? That is a... What kind of board is this, guys? It's purple. We know it's purple. This looks like it might have been a nice board at one time. I can't find a make on it, though. P41BMS. So that's a Pentium 4 board, I imagine. I am not seeing any manufacturer information, so this is probably just one of those cheap Taiwanese boards. Let's get the video card, which is halfway out of its socket, slot, I mean, socket. <laughs> uh, what do we got? What do we got? I don't know what chip is in there. I just know it's pretty dirty. Actually, this isn't the worst one I've seen. I've seen far worse. Usually, there's a manufacturer's name somewhere in here. Or on the... Uh, RTL, so it's got a real tech audio. Ooh, look at this. Blown cap. Blown cap. Blown cap. That's three, four. Four blown caps. Five. So, <laughs> are we surprised? We got five. Six. There's a sixth one. Not burst its top, but it's, it's bursting in the process of failing. Um, that's just a cheap board, that's all it is. It's probably just some cheap Taiwanese board. Maybe Chinese. Okay. Here's the reason I bought this machine. I'm just going to come right out with it. It has two IDE hard drives in it. Those are getting kind of hard to find. Um, so I have decided to take my chances and pay money for this. If it was a penny more, if it was $8 even, or $7 even, I probably would have turned it down. But I figured it's a Friday night, and I got nothing to do, as usual. Um, take my chances. Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, okay, hold on. All right, let's uh, try to get this hooked up. Somebody must have ripped this apart in the store. Uh, I'll admit, the side cover was sitting next to it, and I'm like, well, somebody's had their fingers in there. And I might as well throw mine in as well, and just to have a little fun with it. I'm going to plug these drives back in and see if this thing even starts up. All right, I'm going to shut the fans off so you can hear this thing a little better. All right. It's amazing how much noise those make. So I've got my, my monitor powered up. I'm going to press the power switch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nothing. Nothing, honey. Well, that's not good. 
Let's turn the power switch on and off again. Let's, uh... Oh, these memory modules are, aren't are even seated. Look at that. They're just... Wow. It's like... I Wait, what? I don't even think this one... Oh my god, are you serious? This is... <laughs> This is in backwards. This. <laughs> no wonder it didn't work. It's in backwards. Power. Eh, let's give it a try. Here we go. We got life. Hard drive spinning up. Pentium 4 1.8. 524 megabytes of RAM. It's got Windows. Looks like Windows 2000. Yep. I don't have a mouse hooked up. I should get one. I might have a USB one I can zip on there real quick. One that's accessible. But it, it runs. Kingsoft Fast AIT 2002. Oh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm going to go find a mouse. Here's one. security policy now this mouse will uh, will kick in once I restart it clearly obviously won't work now but I'm gonna have to restart the machine like to acknowledge so yeah the plan is clearly to save the drives and nothing else um, that's all I want out of this thing the case is junk motherboards garbage Power supply is just a C Sonic. I don't even think those are any good. I don't need the memory for anything. Modem. Maybe I'll hang on to the modem. And the graphics card. I should hang on to that. WPS Office. Look at this. It's, it's in like Chinese. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, I have the mouse. I'm going to have to restart it, guys. I'll just. Wait for it to load. This is pretty bad for a P4. Okay, so we're still booting up. This machine is as found. I'm telling you, this is as it was donated to Savers and put on the floor. I, um, I am not kidding you, not doctoring this up. This is it, man. I have no keyboard. No keyboard. Obviously, the mouse isn't going to work, so I'm going to have to shut it down. Just double-check my connection. I have the original owner's name now, or at least the previous owner. It's an Asian name. I won't specify the country. Um, looks like I found a man and a woman's name here, so we know who owned it. Why people donate machines like this to savers is beyond me. I mean, even this piece of junk, which nobody in their right mind would buy and use, um, is clearly a risk that I wouldn't take. But I'm glad they took that risk because I got two good IDE drives. Let's find out what size they are. That sounds like a Mac store to me. How many of you guys are good at picking out hard drive manufacturers by their sound? Mac stores are, are very loud, generally. I see one drive, physical, physical drive here. It's being detected. The other one is not. So... I'll have to see what's going on there. This one. So it's a 27, a 30 gig drive. That's a good one, a good one to have. The smaller drives are getting hard to find, like I said. <coughs> Excel store technology. Really? What the hell is that? An Excel store. I've never seen that before. 
So what kind of software do we have on this pig? Um, we have something in Chinese. Spinner 4.0 Radio, Windows Media Player, Opera, Firefox. Here we go. It's got Walmart Connect, um, internet service installed. Net waiting, Global Star software. Mahjong. There's no surprises there considering all the... Um, Looks like Mandarin Chinese text or whatever that is. Oh, it's got a Chinese office program. Oh, that's neat. WPS Office, that's what it is. It's a Chinese office suite. Neat. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Everything's, uh... I'm not... <coughs> I know that's not Korean, and I think it might be Chinese, but... I know what Korean text looks like. The drive that's in this machine is an Excel store or Excel tech. I've never heard of that brand before. I imagine it's a budget grade drive. Um, definitely not something that I would, well, I'm going to save it because it works, but I'm not so sure I trust it. Let's go into BIOS and see what drives are detected. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Only sees that one, doesn't even see the CD-ROM drive. So let's, let's do some investigating. Okay. So what do we got here on the, uh, the IDE chain? That's fully connected. Here's the, uh, the CD-ROM drive is completely disconnected. No surprises there. All right, so upon further investigation, here's what I found. The, the cable going to the uh, secondary hard drive was loose, so I took care of that. The CD-ROM drive is disconnected for some reason. Um, don't know why. But we're not really concerned about that drive anyway. I'm not going to use it for anything, so All right, let's fire it back up. Okay, looks like both drives have been detected at this point, so we're going to go into BIOS and confirm. Okay, it looks like it froze. It's possible that I could have the slave master settings incorrect, so let's, let's check that out. And then uh, let's see what happens. Okay, now we have more memory for some reason. <laughs> it went from 560-something to 7-something, whatever. Um, this, this motherboard is, is, is garbage. Anyway, so we're not worried about that. So now the secondary drive is now detected. It is a Western Digital Caviar 40 gig drive. So um, that happened. I have never heard of an Excel store drive. That doesn't mean they don't exist. I just haven't heard of them. So let's see what happens now. That Western Digital is the one I'm hoping to save. It sounds pretty healthy to me, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to try to. I'm going to look up Excel Store. They are a thing. Excel Store is a. Oh wow, established in 2000. Is a small hard disk manufacturer and has evolved into a contract manufacturer and a systems integrator. Interesting. Excel Store bought Connor Technology. I believe they're a, yeah they're a Chinese drive. So does anybody trust a Chinese hard drive? I don't know. Um, we yeah I don't know. <laughs> a Chinese domestic market product. I've never seen one before. <clears throat> Turns out Excel Store has manufactured IOMEGA's products, including the Rev drives, which I have actually used. No way. In 2002, Excel Store signed a deal with IBM to manufacture and sell the 40 gig version of the DeskStar 120 GXP under the Excel Store brand name. Very interesting. Um, well, See if that Western Digital works. Well, the drive works, but it is not 
formatted, so we're going to just go and format that drive. I'm going to just use uh, the disk management tool. <clears throat> and we'll just see if that drive comes back to life. So. So here it is. Uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna delete that partition. Delete that partition. Oh yeah, maybe that. Just format the partition. Yes. And we're going to format our new Western Digital 40 gig drive because why not? I don't know what's going to become of the Excel store. I'm not so sure I want to put it in anything, but we're going to pull it out and take a look at the drive and it says it's in use. I'll deal with it later. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. Let's take the drives out and take a look at them. And then we're going to recycle responsibly the rest of this piece of junk. All right. <clears throat> Oh, some jackass glued the freaking floppy cable. Seriously, who does that? The floppy cable connector was glued into the floppy drive. Who the hell does that? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the cable out and the damn thing rips out of the connector. Well, it's a good thing we're not saving it because, yeah, that's no fun. So how much memory did this thing have anyway? So I pulled three Kingston value RAM modules, 256 megs each. So there's 768 megabytes of RAM. Might as well hang on to that. It works. What kind of modem is this? Let's see. How does this work? I gotta remove that connect that little backplane thing in the back. This looks like a cheap wind modem. And based on what I'm seeing here, it probably is just like your world's cheapest wind modem. This was a machine that somebody bought, likely, in a um, small computer shop. It says Intel on it, but I'm skeptical of that. It's, an, it's a, uh, an indeterminable manufacturer. But, there you go, modem. Alright, well that was good and fun while it lasted. Um, thank you for watching. This machine will now be recycled. I've got a guy who comes and picks these up from work and he'll take this. I'm, I'm, oh yeah, I'm going to save the graphics card because it could be usable for something else. It's a... Um, once again, an indeterminable manufacturer. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what uh, what chipset is on here, and it doesn't say. It's it's being very very uh, quiet about its origins. But whatever, it works. Tested it. It's good. Anything else? Let's pull the uh, CPU off of this thing. Well, yeah, you got to stick a screwdriver down into these to unhook them. Ah, screw it. I think that's all I needed to see. <laughs> seven bucks. Most fun you'll ever have for seven dollars. You can either eat at Wendy's or buy one of these. <laughs>